गूगल वॉलेट और सैमसंग वॉलेट आई यूज बोथ फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल कम्पेयर बोथ सो लेट एस बिगिन स्टार्टिंग विद डिवाइस गूगल वॉलेट इज ऑफर्ड ऑन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल एन एफ सी सपोर्टेड डिवाइस वाइल सैमसंग वॉलेट इज ओनली अवेलेबल फॉर सैमसंग फोन बोथ आर ऑल्सो ऑफर्ड ऑन सैमसंग वॉच इज बट अदर वॉच इज ओनली कम विथ गूगल वॉलेट वी फाइंड बोथ एप्स इन मोस्ट कंट्रीज इन सम यू विल जस्ट फाइंड वन बट स्टिल इफ देर इज टेप टू पे इन योर रीजन यू विल हैव एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ दोज एप्स बोथ ऑल्सो ऑफर टू सी वाट बैंक एंड कार्ड्स आर सपोर्टेड इन योर रीजन Samsung Wallet has a nice interface displaying photos of the cards and banks while Google Wallet has a table with all the supported entities. The next round is about adding payment cards. Both offer three ways to add cards. Those include taking the photo of the card, tapping the card on the back of the phone and entering the details manually. There is no difference in the verification process so if you see a TDS call option in Google Wallet, you will see the same option in Samsung Wallet. It's not like one offers SMS verification while the other calls. Google Wallet shows your saved cards to your Google account here for a quicker process. Both are not just for paying for stuff. You'll find other features and it's not just one which has more. It depends on the region. The most common are gift cards, loyalty cards and transport passes. I think Google Wallet is more prominent in terms of transport passes. We can also add digital keys for cars and doors in Samsung Wallet and for cars in Google Wallet. One other thing Samsung Wallet has is Samsung Pass. From here we can see and edit the passwords we save while browsing the web. When you make a payment you get a notification. We can also see our recent transactions on the card menu. However, I like Google Wallet's interface more as it shows more data including a map pin to see the business location, a transaction ID and a call button to call them if needed. Security is the most important part because both are different. Samsung Wallet asks you to verify your credentials every time you pay. There is no exception. Google Wallet has just started asking for the pin or fingerprint and it doesn't ask every time. When you pay it sometimes asks for it other times you can do it without any issues until a few weeks ago it didn't ask for the pin at all so there was a safety risk now it's better but still there is a bit of a risk let's look at some other features of both now as samsung wallet is built for samsung there are multiple ways to access it we can add a quick access card which can be opened by swiping up However, I don't like it as sometimes it opens when I unlock my phone. The other method which I like and use is double pressing the power button. You might need to set it up but uh, it can be configured. The app also has an option to delete all your data which uh, let's face it is uh, not easy with his opponent. Google Wallet on the other hand has the power of Google so in apps and on websites we see an option to add something to Google Wallet. from event passes to plane tickets to buy now and pay later cards we can add digital items to google wallet with uh, one tap google is also working on adding certain things to your wallet automatically without uh, you adding them so which one is for you when it comes to security and ease of use i think samsung wallet is the best you get to verify yourself every time and it can be open from multiple places It also has pretty much all the options that are available on Google Wallet. However, Google Wallet has a few extra features such as adding stuff from emails and apps and support for more transport passes. So if you prefer that over security, I suggest choosing Google Wallet. Regarding paying with cards, I have never seen any app crashing or not working when you hold your phone against the terminal. Both can also work offline for a limited number of transactions, so there is no difference there as well. Anyway this is the end of this video please let me know what you think of both i'll catch you next time take care